So this problem has a new challenge, and the challenge here is that there's a radical in the problem. And we don't like radicals, so we're going to try to remove the radical in order to figure out what kind of u substitution we need to make. And in order to remove the radical, we just have to remember that the nth root of a to the power of m is the same thing as a to the power of m divided by n, meaning the number on the inside stays on the numerator, the number on the outside goes in the denominator. Now for this problem, it's a square root, so the number on the outside is a two, and the number on the inside is invisible, it's just basically gonna be a one. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the radical with the exponent. So it's gonna be five x squared, and we usually like the dx right there when we're dealing with fractions, so I'm gonna slide the dx to the top, and then I'm gonna switch the exponent, instead of two x cubed plus three with the, with the square root, I'm gonna write it with the power of one half using my exponent rule from up here. Okay, so that's what I did so far. So now that I've done that, I am seeing a fraction. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe I should use the fraction guideline. But then also I'm seeing that there's a base with some funky looking exponent. And I know that when I have base with an exponent, usually the u should be the base. So that's what I'm gonna go with. That was, the tr that was the first guideline we learned before we ever heard about the guideline of fractions. So that's the guideline we will pick, we will try. So we're gonna put next the derivative. The derivative of two x cubed is gonna be six x to the power of two. Derivative of three is gonna be zero and don't forget the dx at the end. Now, there's a problem here. I'm seeing six x squared dx, that's what I need to be able to write down du. But when I look over at my example, I don't see a six, I see a five. So not a big deal. Here's what we could do. First, slide the five to the outside. Leave the fraction, leave the x squared and the dx there, leave the two x cubed with the three and the power there. So that was step number one, is slide the five over, get it out of the way. And what is it that you want instead? Well, you want six instead. So just put a six there. But then again, this changes the whole problem. There was no six there and five times six is actually 30. So that screws it up big time. So how do you fix it? How do you keep it balanced? You put the six on the denominator. So if you think about it, five times six is 60. I'm sorry, five times six is 30 divided by six is gonna be back to the five that was originally there in the original problem. So everything stayed the same, everything stayed balanced, but the benefit is now these 6x squared and dx can be removed and be replaced with the variable du. So that's what we're going to do. And also the 2x cubed plus 3, altogether those can be replaced with the variable u, because that's what we're saying in our little table, in our little chart that we made. And keep in mind that the exponent is still one half. But then again, this is a fraction and because the exponent is not one, it's one half, we have to write everything on top. So we can only leave it on the bottom if the exponent is one. Otherwise, we have to write it on the numerator. So here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna bring the u to the numerator by changing the exponent. Okay, so we're gonna make the exponent negative. It used to be positive one half. We're going to make it negative one half on the numerator. And now we do the same business as usual. So add one to the exponent. Negative one half plus one is going to be one half and divide by the same number plus c. A couple things to finish it up. First of all, there's going to be a fraction. The five is going to stay. Six times one half is going to be three and the u itself is going to get re-replaced with 2x cubed plus 3 to the power of 1 half plus c. So again, the u gets replaced with the 2x cubed plus 3. We call that step in this level back substitution because we're kind of using the same table again to rewrite the original letters back in. And that's how it's pretty much going to end. Now, sometimes people like to write this. Sometimes people prefer to write this other answer where they put five over three first and then the square root of two X cubed plus three plus C on the outside. Again, I don't really care if you did that or not. It's the same thing. 
It's just that they are deciding to remove the one half and replace it back with radicals. But that's pretty much how the process is going to go from beginning to end. I'm going to work out the next problem in the same video because the next problem seems to be very similar to the top one. So I'm going to start off with the fraction. And in this case, I don't see a u with an exponent. I don't see a base with an exponent. So I'm going to automatically decide that the u should be the whole denominator. So in this case, I am not seeing an exponent. So that's why I'm going with u being the whole denominator. And what's the derivative of u? The derivative of 3x minus 4 is going to be 3. And don't forget the dx right next to it. So that's my chart. That's what I need to be able to finish the problem. So first things first, I'm going to slide the dx to the numerator. I'm going to slide the 5 out of the numerator to the outside. And then I'm going to put the 3x minus 4 on the denominator like it was. And I'm noticing that in this problem, I would like to have 3dx, but I don't have 3dx. So let's put a 3 there and keep a 3 on the outside to stay balanced. So now, anytime you see 3dx, you can replace them with the variable du. So that whole numerator is going to be transformed and it's going to become du. So 5 thirds on the outside, integral of du in place of the 3dx. Now what about the denominator? Instead of 3x minus 4, according to my chart, the 3x minus 4 gets replaced with the variable u. So that u goes down in the denominator. And so now this is the same thing as 5 thirds antiderivative of du divided by u. Keep in mind that in this problem, the u has exponent 1. So it does not have to be written in the numerator like we did on the previous problem. In the previous problem, the u had exponent 1 half. This is the reason why I had to write it on the numerator with an exponent of negative 1 half. This time, the exponent is 1. And so automatically, I know that this whole integral du over u, that whole thing is going to be replaced with natural log. So it's going to be 5 thirds ln of absolute value of u plus c. So the ln natural log, basically, of u plus c came because of the antiderivative. And that's because the exponent was, in this problem, a 1, not 1 half. So we don't add 1 to the exponent and divide by the same thing. We use a different, completely different rule. And that's it. We are going to be done at this point because we're just going to replace the u with 3x minus 4 because that's what it was originally when we started the whole process. 3x minus 4 was supposed to replace the letter u.